What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terry and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. Today, I wanna to talk about how to become a better marketer from someone that's personally done over $10 million in online revenue the last two years, specifically around the e-com space. So I just wanna kinda of go through kind of my process, my journey that I've gone through to become a better marketer and how you guys can do the same. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and let's dive into it guys so back when um i got e-com back in 2019 i wouldn't really say i was a marketer i was just a media buyer okay i would sit there look at ad strategies on youtube in terms of like abo cbo how to set this up yada 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 and i would just grab random photos make up these random ass copy throw in that account and hopefully something stuck Okay, that's it. But I was super highly focused on how we set that account up, how we set that sets up, yada, yada, yada. And that was September, 2019. We helped the brand scale up significantly, but that was because they were doing all the marketing side for us. They were giving us the copy. They were giving us the creatives, everything like that for us to scale the account up. So we never really had to do any marketing. It was just great new creatives, new copy. Cool. Let's we'll roll with it. Then we hit a point where we got another brand. We helped that brand grow, not at the same rate, but we helped them grow a good bit. And then we took on like five clients and five clients back to back to back failed at all of them. And we sat back and we're like, yo, what's going on now? Some of those clients, just bad clients. They, their product wasn't proven. Um, they, they had just bad websites, things like that. Just wasn't a good client at overall, but a few, one or two of them were a good client. It's just, we didn't have the skill set yet to uh, work with them. And then I really realized that I had an honest conversation with myself. I said, Nick, like what's, what's truly getting the results for these brands? Like, is it my media buying skills or like, like what made the biggest impact? And I look at like one account where like they were at 30 K a month consistently. Then I went and sat down this audience research created some copy, created a new creative, the account exploded up, okay? Then I sat back and I looked at like one of our other clients that's been consistently scaling. I'm like, you know, they do the creative, they do copy for us, they send it to us and we just run it as an ad. I'm like, okay, great. So we got that, that's a strong winner. That's a strong winner. Now, what's these new clients? And I was like, we did everything, the copy, the creative, all that stuff. So then I was like, huh, interesting. So I'm like, are we just bad at creating creative and copy now like how do we become better at creating creative and copy and stuff like that like well how do we improve that because if we improve that then and we and we improve our systems and stuff like that to consistently generate this we'll both grow pretty much any brand so that's how i kind of looked at it in that perspective so i kind of went down on a rabbit hole of becoming a better marketer and really every day that's my goal even till this day i'm still looking at how to become a better marketer and really growing my own personal marketing abilities in that perspective right there so I'm gonna take you through exactly what you need to do. So one thing you can do right now, um, literally after you watch this video, you can immediately start applying this next two or three hours of your day, you can focus purely on this. First thing is identifying big brands, specifically your competitors. So I have a lot of e-com businesses that specifically watch this channel. That is who my main persona is for this brand, uh, for this channel. Um, so you need to go identify five of your competitors, okay? So let's say for example, you sell, Fitness clothing, Gymshark, Alpha Elite, Nike, Under Armour. I'm trying to think of another one, like Buff Bunny Collection, okay? Five competitors, boom. They don't need to be at your level. So that's the biggest thing right there is a lot of people think they need to be at your level. No, your competitors are, you know, those big brands right there, okay? So go look at them. Go really understand, hey, why do they use that creative of that girl working out? Okay, well, who's their persona? Their persona's women 30 plus, okay? Well, that creative right there is a girl 30 plus working out in that gear. Huh? Okay. Interesting. Why do they use the copy of, uh, you know, like Under Armour, uh, <laughs> achieve greatness or something like that. Greatness is within because they're inspiring you and motivating you and really trying to appeal to you that, um, and inspire something in you. Okay. But it really look at those competitors, go to their Facebook ads library, study them on a daily basis, set up, get your alarm clock. Set it for 30 minutes, for 30 minutes, really study and take notes down and really analyze the creative, the copy and the, and question everything. Like, why do they use this type of creative? Why do they use this type of copy? What, what does this copy speak to? How does their customer persona potentially react to this and things like that? Really dig deeper. And what's going to happen is, is you're going to start to understand how those brands are communicating to their audience and how their audience wants to be communicated to. And it's going to allow you to create better ads. Cause then when you go and create your ads, you're like, 
oh, okay, hey, now I understand why that creative does not work at all. Now I understand what type of creatives we need to shoot. So let's go and shoot those. And then we can put them in the ads manager. We're gonna have a much higher yield of success. So that's something right there. Um, that's the first thing I do for any new like employees on my agency and stuff like that. It's so the first thing I'll make sure to do is that they can go out there, study, analyze, really get a good understanding of these brands. Um, so that way, when we're creating ads for our clients, they already kind of have a leg up in that sense right there. Because again, these brands are also spending a lot of money on your competitors. They've done all the research. They've done all the analyzing what creators work better. So instead of us trying to work to get there, let's start there and then only improve from there. So that's a big thing right there. Okay, so number one, Analyze, look at competitors, things like that. Number two is find someone who's already a really good marketer that like, like I would say, for example, like if you're just start, starting out, try to find someone that's like a seven figure marketer or six figure marketer. That's a few steps ahead of you. So like right now I have a guy that personally does a weekly, weekly call with me and he does, they spend roughly a hundred million plus a year on Facebook ads. Okay. And that's because I'm someone that's doing a few million dollars on Facebook ads. And I want to spend a hundred million plus. So I'm gonna go find someone that's doing hundred million plus versus someone that's doing maybe 20 million and I'm spending 10 million. I'm gonna find someone that's super high up there. Okay. So that's another thing too. It's just find someone, ask them for one hour of their time. You're going to pay for it. It's going to be anywhere from 250 bucks to a thousand dollars an hour. Just going to let you know that now. And you're going to one hour zoom call and just see if they can coach you. Um, courses work at some level, and that's actually my next thing right now, or part three, but I find that when you can just work with someone one-on-one -on -one like that, weekly coaching call, the knowledge you learn is in super high up. And also too, you can actually look at ads you've been running, things like that, and really get a more one-on-one -on -one coaching methodology. I'm a huge believer in coaching. I have a lot of different coaches in my life for various areas of my life, health, wealth, and love. I have a coach for each area. and. Like, you know, for me, just boxing is something I'm just getting into. And I spent like a few years hitting the bag myself and just not making any progress. Hired a coach and, you know, today I'm actually going to do my third session with them. And just within two sessions, my, my skill set dramatically shot up and I'm a lot more confident. I've learned substantially faster than say if I would keep trying to watch YouTube videos online. So what you want to do is in that perspective right there is hire a coach if you can. Now, again, I understand they're expensive. That's the drawback. So I understand if you can't. So now let's go to the last one. Number three, there's a few books that I recommend uh, that I highly recommend all you guys to look at. Um, courses also work great, but I find that a lot of Facebook ads courses are not teaching you marketing. They're teaching you how to set up an ad account, things like that. And that is why I am, will be dropping a course soon. That's focusing on the marketing fundamentals versus a Facebook ad account, because marketing fundamentals are going to carry you on throughout life versus an ad account is going to teach you just Facebook ads. I want to teach you how to carry on and grow as a marketer. You know, I learned from breakthrough advertising, this book right here, and this book was designed in the sixties. And it, these principles are still applying to this day, 80 years later. So you'll look at it from that perspective as well. So these books right here, um, breakthrough advertising, highly recommend it. Uh, you can find the website online. It's like a landing page. I think it's like breakthrough advertising book or breakthrough book or something like that. Um, it's roughly about a hundred to 200 bucks for this book, but amazing value right here. Very, very high level, very high level. Just gonna mention that now tough read, but amazing book copywriting secrets by Jim Edwards. Really great book. Uh, making ads pay by John Caples, how to write copy that sells by Ray Edwards. Uh, the ad week copywriting handbook by joseph sugarman really great books right there learn copywriting because that's how you learn the marketing fundamentals and just it they also kind of teach you a little bit of like the creative side as well but copywriting drives pretty much everything and that audience persona and research and everything like that so but yeah guys Really hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> My camera's literally about to shut off in like 30 seconds from the memory cord. So I sat down and recorded six videos, last two weeks of videos. So I really appreciate you guys watching this uh, video. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And uh, again, my name is Nick Terrio. Uh, thank you for all the support on the channel and everything. Much love to all of you guys. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.